Nigerian robotics engineer Bolarinwa Kemisola has developed a bra that can detect breast cancer. The new device can help in the fight against breast cancer in Nigeria, where an estimated 17,000 women die of the disease every year. Before she died then, I do go to her in the hospital. So there I met women too, because I they heard about breast cancer, you know, something that's you know, it's common, and but I, I never knew it's as deep as that. So when I saw women like myself on, on, on the hospital bed, running in place of breast cancer, I was like, oh, this is a real challenge, because every time this memory keep flashing back and putting myself in the shoes. So that brought about the idea of the breast, um, the, the, the smart bra. The smart bra contains a total of 14 sensors connected to a USB outlet with cables. The system also includes a phone application where the procedure can be followed. There's something they call um, self um, breast examine. So women stand in front of the mirror checking themselves and all that. Most women do do that. I'm doing of it too. So in that respect, we need something that can help them to check themselves like a device or something that you can put on and know their status on a daily basis. So that's the whole idea behind the smart bra device. The new device also helps to raise awareness about breast cancer. According to research, many women in Africa do not know what cancer is and when confronted with it, resort to traditional medicine. All those things are only done in big cities like Abuja, Lagos, Port Harcourt. So the core people that need to hear this information is not getting to them. Those people that we are talking to in big cities, they already know this. They use smartphones, they use smart devices, they hear news and all that. But other people, they don't have access to this. And those are the people that need to know about it. According to data from the World Health Organization, more than 600,000 women died of breast cancer in the world in 2020. And just over 74,000 of them are in Africa.